Welcome to the channel. Um, I'm not used to making these types of videos, but where well, I just ramble on. Um, but what I wanted to talk about was, is the hmm, um, the coming Israel-Iran war, or well, axis of resistance. It's, this is not going to be a purely um, Iran conflict, uh, Iran-Israel conflict. I dare say the Americans will be dragged in. Uh, the American politicians are so heavily bought by the Israelis that uh, I think that's inevitable. Uh, it's a conflict they won't be able to walk away from now. They may possibly do their uh, limit this to almost unlimited military aid and not actually go into these go into like um, Lebanon and the remains of Palestine uh, I don't think the US is actually going to make a, a landing in Iran uh, I think that's that is far that is something they don't have the resources for um, well I think the Iranian Navy can be suppressed from what I've seen on um, uh, Eurasian Naval Insight they did a uh, the guy on that did a interesting video on um, uh, Iran's naval capabilities and a lot of that focused on their subs they have actually have a few aircraft carriers, but they didn't. They don't really have anything up to date to support them. So their their carriers are pretty vulnerable. Um, and by carriers, that they, they are mainly focused towards drones, as far as I can tell. I think one of them's being built by the country itself, and the other is a uh, repurposed um, uh, oil carrier. Which may have, uh, I don't know how it is for armour, I mean, if um, oil carrying ships, oil tankers at the time, have to have several, la have to have multiple layers of uh, holes in order to, to stop the oil leaking from them if they have an accident. It's possible that an oil tanker is in fact a pretty sturdy uh, vessel for um, if it gets attacked. Anyway, um, well, at least from the sides. Um, now, what? Uh, yeah, uh, there's questions of um, how heavily the Russians are going to get involved in this. I mean, they, since the US, the West, NATO has um, been more than willing to supply proxies with weapons to U Ukraine with weapons to use against the Russians I think the Russians have made clear that they're more than willing to use uh, factions that are fighting the US um, giving them weapons in order to fight uh, the NATO NATO forces um, if there is some degree of alignment between the two I think they um, they decided not to give it to um, Ansala Allah because of um, well, to make nice for the Saudis because I doubt Saudi Arabia would want a nation they've uh, a political faction they've recently been at war with to gain access to the world's most advanced military weaponry um, but yes, because both Russia and Saudi Arabia are part of OPEC Plus, I think the Russians really wanted to make nice with the Saudis and maintain some degree of uh, peace between the two within world oil markets. Um, 
what else? Uh, the oh yes, um, Israel's the timing of Iran's attack on Israel. I think had more to do with Israel's imminent attacks on uh, invasion of uh, uh, Lebanon. They wanted to throw the uh, Israelis off balance and get them to focus on uh, yeah, he wanted to deter any invasion there, um, as well as responding previously to a uh, uh, Palestinian uh, leader who was killed in Tehran a couple of months ago. Was that? Anyway, um, um Anything else I wanted to cover? Maybe a question of who controls who? Is Israel leading this or is the USA leading this? I think this is very much Israel leading this. The US has caused so much damage to itself politically on the world stage but had they been functioning with at least two brain cells, they, they would have pulled Israel's rain, on Israel's reins hard ages ago. And they could have even done it subtly. Slowing of arms, shipments, reducing the number, getting rid of... Maybe supplying only one or two bombs at a time, not 84, as we used in the attack on, on Nasrallah in Lebanon. The US has really made itself complicit in genocide and these atrocities. I think the US is just so corrupt and bought, that, uh, and the media services as well. Services, it's a laugh. Uh, <coughs> media corporations are so bought. What was it? Scott Ritter said the is re is re uh, is the APAC was willing to pay him like 20 million to, to turn to their side. That's a lot of money. I think most people would might take that up. Anyway. I think that's it for this video. I don't think I have anything else more meaningful to say. Just wanted to get this off my chest. There's a lovely little red tree over there. Bush, plant, whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the future.